Hey guys, here we go again with another Hackintosh video. Uh, this is more like an update. So let's get right to it. First things first. Built the new Hackintosh and I used this motherboard. Alright? And for my operating system, I went with the, uh, the, the uh, developer's preview of Mountain Lion. Okay? And everything seems to be fine except for two major issues. One is quite visible, these orange icons. These are my uh, hard drives. Usually, if you don't know, usually the only time you see these orange icons is when you have an external hard drive of, sort, of some sort. Now, I was reading that most of, these, most of these issues are gigabyte only issues. Now, I'm not saying that this is a fact. I'm just telling you what I read. I don't know if, if that's true. All I can tell you is, I never had that problem using the Zeus board. I'm just saying. Now, another issue I'm having is when I try to use my uh, DVD player to watch a movie, I'm greeted with that error message. Now, let me see if I can zoom in so you can see what it says. Now, I don't know if you can see that clearly, but if you cannot, it says there was an there was an initialization error. A valid DVD drive could not be found. Yada yada yada. Now, somebody was telling me that maybe I need frame buffers. You know, I need frame buffers, and I and also I need to put graphics enabler equals yes. Now, let me break this down to you. I'm using an EN210 NVIDIA card. And I've never, and I do repeat, never had to use frame buffers for Snow Leopard. I never had to use frame buffers for Lion. And uh, I've always used graphics enabler. No, my box is completely, I'm sorry, my card works completely out the box. So I already knew that, you know, that, could, that, that just might not be the issue. Um, I, did a, I did a response video to that person showing that I don't have that problem with, with, uh, I don't even remember. I don't even remember what I did in the video. I'm sorry, guys. But anyway, 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 I figured out how to fix both those problems. And just in case you guys are having this, the same issue going on with your gigabyte board, you came to the right place. So let me show you what I did. On one of these hard drives, is it this one? Right here we go. One of these hard drives. I took the old files out my Lion, my Lion installation, and I, uh, I transferred them into my Mountain Lion installation. Now, I've already did this and it works. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what I did. Alright, here we go. Okay, right now I'm booted into a uh, regular lion. Right here is Mountain Lion's partition, and this is my lion partition. So, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to focus more so on lion, because I had to take files off my lion partition and put them into Mountain Lion. Let me explain why. Well, the reason um, I'm doing is I'm doing this is because uh, when I put my Lion uh, partition or my Lion hard drive in my new Hackintosh, I didn't have none of the problems I was having on Mountain Lion. And then it made me wonder: is it really, is it really just a motherboard issue, or is it Mountain Lion's compatibility with the board? So I'm wavering on its uh, compatibility with both Mountain Lion and the board. So anyway, that's what brought me here. So let's get started. Now, like I said, we're going to focus more so on this one. Now, I'm going to zoom in here because I want you to see these files, okay? Because you might want to look up these files. So this is the first file on the list. We're going to move this file over. Let me explain. This file right here turns all my orange icons back to what they should look like. Let me see if I can move this down. There 
it moves them back to that. It won't be orange anymore. All right, so let's move it. Now I have to put in the password. Now my next file I'm going to go to is this one. Apple AHCI port. I'm going to move that over there too. And then we're going to look for one more. Can you see that? I don't think you guys can see that. Let me see if I can bring it up a bit. There we go. Okay. Let's see if I can zoom in. Nope, I can't zoom in. No, no more. All right, but that's uh, I O A H C I family. We're gonna move that over. These are these are um, A H C I files, which is needed for uh, your SATA drives. Or basically SATA. It's basically SATA support. We're done. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead, reboot, back to my Lion installation. All right. All right, we're back. Let's get it started. Okay. We are back. Look at that. Gray icons. Now let's test this movie. So there you have it. Problem solved. Wasn't a frame buffer issue. It's basically uh, the SATA files. They don't they don't uh, properly correspond with the hardware on the board. So that's it. I'm done. Um, I hope I, I hope this helps everybody who has this motherboard and possibly ran into this problem. Um, you've seen the files that I use. You probably can extract these files you know somewhere offline or whatever or hey you need them I guess I have to make another Gavinelli package huh <laughs> alright later guys